Kay, I'm Senior Lecturer in Arts Education at Barsbar University and Director of Research for a charity called 5x5x5 equals Creativity, uh, a charity devoted to children and young people's creativity. So Forest of Imagination is a four-day um, pop-up event that um, brings together contemporary art practice architects, designers, uh, local and international artists working together in literally a gallery without walls. So essentially this was about a contemporary arts event but also involving community and local designers, makers, architects, landscape architects and we set up um, a call to support the event through a Kickstarter page which was a three-week crowdfunding campaign and we were very fortunate that local creative industries that included Press Nicholson and Kuro helping us with that campaign. It's been fantastic to see the ingenuity of very young children working alongside elders, all ages, being inspired by contemporary artists' work. It's been a real success. We've had well over 6,000 visitors. We've had all sorts of uh, people from the local community, but also international visitors. It's been a pure joy to witness the constant laughter and playfulness of everybody. So all ages, all the art, lots of different creative disciplines working alongside uh, people to enjoy this gallery without walls. Bath has a reputation of being a historical city that celebrates heritage. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Centre but actually there's a lot of contemporary creativity that is hidden. And what Forest of Imagination has done is to make that visible, to celebrate that creativity in the city. So local creative industries who all live and work here, but working alongside children, young people and schools to celebrate everybody's collective imagination. Last year we held the event at Bath School of Art and Design which was beautiful and Andrew and his team redesigned the historical gardens but this year it's been right in the heart of the city in Queen Square and we've literally brought creativity into the city and, and put it um, in, onto the pavement. I think for the children it's been pure heaven. It's been pure joy witnessing children's creativity, ingenuity, playfulness, there's been a lot of laughter. Just as an adult, being alongside children and young people exploring these different spaces in the square that people have shaped for them, their interactions, the way that they've investigated, been curious to find out about themselves and their own creativity. I think for the city and for the community, this is a real opportunity to celebrate our innate human capacity to be creative, to be playful, to think about things differently. And just something like an acre square with Bo Nash's obelisk in the middle, we're, we're now having an opportunity to see how it could be different and to see the potential. So for me it's about kind of possibility thinking, it's about bringing ideas together in a true creative collaboration, witnessing the creativity of the city and showing what's possible for the future. But also alongside bigger themes like the environment, Andrew Grant's term human nature, thinking about how we're looking after, we're trustees of the city, we're looking after this, it's the future of our children's city. It's about children taking active participation as citizens for their environment and for their surroundings. This is a wonderful example of everybody being involved in uh, not only celebrating the city but also being part of something that's got a, a much longer term message about our future and our planet.